So what is going on everyone? Fernando Silva here with another video and first off, huge thank you to everybody that stopped by the live stream. It was a, an extreme success. It was kind of the first time that I've ever actually done one for longer than like five minutes. So huge, huge thank you to everybody. I'm gonna do another one most likely Friday later, probably in the evening, unboxing live in real time the new iPad Pro. But for this video today, I'm gonna do an all iPad Pro setup and before we actually get started, we're gonna have to actually move to this side of the studio because we got a whole brand new desk that I wanna show off to everybody. And the point of this video is to give you guys some ideas, especially if you did order the new iPad Pro, or if you ordered an iPad Pro 2020 or 2018, because this will work for pretty much any situation. So without further ado, I got a bunch of cool stuff and accessories to show off for this iPad Pro desk setup. Let's get it going. So this is my new minimal desk setup for the iPad Pro. So as you guys can see, it's a little bit different than my current setup, right? My current setup is very focused on iPad Pro, but also working with Mac OS, having secondary monitor support, having the, the MacBook Air kind of docked up, and there's just a lot more going on. So what I wanted to do was create and get this desk and create kind of a single use, single task, you know, get stuff done desk, right? And that's why I put the iPad Pro here, because I've Reiterated to everybody a bunch, right? The iPad Pro for me is the most productive single use or single task machine pretty much out there because it's almost impossible to get distracted with anything else when you're on the iPad Pro. So to actually start talking about exactly what's going on with this desk setup. So first off, let's talk about the desk itself. So shout out to Flexi Spot. They actually sent over this desk to kind of test out, right? And I normally go with Autonomous and Autonomous is a great brand, but Flexi Spot has the same type of standing desk, motorized smart desk but at a fraction of the cost, right? So this one, for instance, costs about $430. It's on sale right now, and this is the 48 inch wide glass top standing motorized desk. And as you guys can see, it has up and down functions, it's got the four memory keys, and it even has two USB-A and a USB-C out right in the front, which is something that the autonomous one doesn't have. Autonomous does have the memory buttons, those four memory buttons, but it doesn't have those plugs right there, which is super, super nice to have. So again, this is by FlexiSpot. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below, but overall, the setup process, super, super easy. It was literally just two big parts, which was the tabletop and then the legs itself, and then also the bottom portion, which you had to screw in. I did have an actual drill to make it a little bit faster, but even if you don't have one, you don't need one whatsoever. It took me about 20 minutes to put together real quick, and then once that was all done, all I had to do was plug it into the wall, and then all of a sudden, you have a smart standing desk, and I love standing desks. I'd like to stand at least two hours a day Try to, I don't know, I don't really know if it does anything for your health or anything like that, but I always think it's good to just stand up, stretch your legs out a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna get is definitely one of those like soft mat things to stand on. Cause when you do have a standing desk and you're on like solid floor, especially if you don't even have carpet, which I do, but if you're like on wood floor or tile, your feet do hurt after a little while. So my next thing for the smart desk setup is gonna be one of those mats that kind of feels good on your feet when you're standing up. So that is the Flexi Spot desk. I absolutely love it. It gets a high recommendation on my end. Cause again, with Autonomous, you're paying, I guess, for quality, but at the same time with FlexiSpot, you're not really risking any of that quality either. So it is a glass top finish, like I said, so it does have a little bit of a glare to it, but I wanted to go with the darker color because I already have a white wooden desk on the other side. So I wanted to go the complete opposite, go dark, go a little bit more reflective. So it is a little bit fingerprinty. So unless you plan on putting a big desk mat on there, which I don't have here, you're gonna see a decent amount of fingerprints or you're gonna be wiping it down a decent amount. But again, for $430, it's really hard to complain. Very sturdy. I believe it can carry up to 120 pounds in weight, between 110 and 120 pounds. So I actually didn't stand up on it this time. I know the autonomous one has a little bit more power, but again, for $430, it's hard to complain. Free shipping, they'll get it right to your door. Easy to put together. So shout out FlexiSpot for sending this over. But if we continue on, let's talk about the actual iPad, right? So the iPad that I currently have is a 2018 256 gigabyte model iPad Pro 12.9 inches, right? And it's actually sitting on this brand new stand that I got, which makes it look like the Apple XDR display or the Super Retina XDR, whatever you want to call it. And they make it for the 11 and the 12.9 inch. And I'm assuming it's going to work for the new 2021 iPad Pro. Don't quote me on that. I'm definitely going to test it out and definitely follow me on Twitter or follow my stories on YouTube because I'll probably do a quick little shot to show you guys that it does work. But again, I'm rocking a D-brand skin on the back and it still works through those. And even when I put the Pitaka case on, the magnets are still strong enough to actually hold up the iPad Pro. So that's a beautiful thing to see. And then my other main worry with this stand was, you know, leaving marks or dents or indents in the actual iPad Pro. But you can see that there's a couple rubber stoppers that are cushioned, 
which also adds a little bit of adhesive, right? So it's a little bit of a sticky, but it's nothing that stays on your iPad. It's just like a very sticky rubber. So having that on there plus the magnets just means you're good to go. And as you guys can see, this thing is very, very sturdy. And so far I've been loving it. And I love the look of it as well because it keeps it a little bit higher up, more so than the actual Magic Keyboard. So if I know I'm gonna be stationary for a while, I'm taking it off the Magic Keyboard and throwing it on this actual Charge M Pro stand. So that is really, really cool to have. I really love this accessory. Highly recommend it if you guys want something to kind of elevate your iPad. And then you also get pretty much all the viewing angles you can ever want. You can rotate it landscape and portrait. And then once you kind of lock it into place between landscape and portrait, then you can even swivel it back and forth so you can show it off to the other side and vice versa. So that is a stand that I'm rocking right now. Absolutely love it. And then actually right in front of the iPad Pro, I have the Magic Keyboard and Magic Trackpad from Apple. They're perfect to use with the iPad Pro, especially if you want to get that gesture functionality without spending $350 on the actual Magic Keyboard case. So this is again, a desk setup, and that's what this is here for first, right? I wanna be able to sit down and get my work done as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible. So that is the only thing in front of the iPad, just the keyboard and the trackpad. And as you can see on the actual desk, there isn't much else. On the left side, I have a HomePod mini that I use to kind of play some music in the background if need be. And on the right, I have a Pitaka Mag Easy wireless charging bank and station. So this one's actually really cool. This is actually V2, I've had V1 before, and it works really well if you have the MagEasy case or if you have an iPhone 12 or higher with MagSafe because MagSafe is compatible with MagEasy, which is beautiful to have. But I have the iPhone 11, and but I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and basically with my 11 Pro Max Pitaka case, I can slap it on there, it charges, sits at a nice angle, but then also if I'm ready to go and I still need a little bit of battery, that power bank is about 2,000 milliamp hours of battery, which gives you about 75% of a charge, but it's awesome to have as a little battery bank, a wireless battery bank, a magnetic wireless battery bank that works really well. And that's pretty much what's on top of the desk. But the next thing I want to show you is this nice drawer that's actually in the FlexiSpot desk, which is something my autonomous desk doesn't have. So in the drawer, it's very, very small. It's not, you're not going to fit too many things. It's going to be for notebooks, for pencils, for little things. But what I did was I added a Ikea organizer. I actually had it in one of my other drawers on my other desk setup. And I just wanted to add one here to kind of Again, help me organize all the little things that are easy to move around unless it has a little bit of grip attached to it, right? So in the actual drawer itself, I have a few things. I have, like I said, that Ikea organizer. I have the AirPods Pro charger, the Apple Watch chargers in there, and then I have a super driver. I believe it's the HyperDrive, which is just a four-in-one USB-C dongle. It has USB-C, HDMI, a headphone jack, and a USB-A. So it's, I think, kind of the most minimal one you can have. Unless you really need an SD card reader, wow. then that one's not gonna work for you. But then I also have a more robust USB-C dongle in there that's a nine in one by a company called Andobil. I've mentioned them in the past before. I just like this one, cause again, it has a lot more ports. So if I need to grab it and go, this was a perfect grab and go situation. So cause it has HDMI, it has SD and micro SD. It's got ethernet, it's got USB-A, a few USB-A's, USB-C's. So it has everything you would need in a USB-C portable dock for the iPad Pro. And then also in the actual drawer, I have a 500 gigabyte SSD from RAV Power, which I like to have on there, which I'm so excited for LumaFusion to update. So then we can use the external drive and work off of that external drive instead of having to save and have redundant files inside of my actual iPad Pro that takes up a lot of space because LumaFusion by default backs up every single file that you use inside of a movie or a project. So basically you're double and tripling your storage size because of just LumaFusion. So hopefully working off of an SSD will solve that problem. And then I just have a USB-C to lightning cable, a really short one that I like to have in there because like I said, this desk has a little USB-C port on the front of it. So if I ever need to charge up the magic keyboard or the trackpad, I just plug it in there and let it charge overnight if need be. So those are the things that are in my drawer. I also then have to the left, I have my magic keyboard, the actual case. So if I do want to get up and go and I need to do something on the go, I just grab the iPad, pop it off of the actual stand itself and then throw it onto the magic keyboard and go. And then also right on top of there, I have a personalized AirAC letter, which is very cool. So if you guys know who AirAC is on YouTube, you guys know exactly what that letter is, but I'd like to have that in there because it's just, it's cool to have a nice little memory of before the 1 million. But if you guys made it to the end of this video, shout out to you. But that's pretty much what's on the desk, right? It's going to be very minimal. This is a work first desk in my opinion. So overall, this is where I'm going to go to edit all of my videos because I already edit all my videos on the iPad Pro, but I'm usually doing it moving around or I'm doing it at my main desk, which has a lot of stuff going on. So here I can just roll my chair over, start editing and get as much work done as possible from both video editing, thumbnail editing, and then making sure that everything is ready to go on the YouTube side from an, you know, an admin perspective. 
But overall, I love this desk. I highly, highly recommend it, especially if you're looking for a budget option motorized desk. Because there are standing desks and movable desks, but they have some that have a little kind of crank that you have to manually move it up and down. But if you want a motorized desk that's quality and doesn't cut too many corners and kind of helps out on the price standpoint, FlexiSpot is the way to go in my opinion. Again, I'm gonna link them down below if you guys wanna give them a shot. But overall, I've been loving this desk, I've been loving this setup, I've been using this for about a week now. So I don't know if you guys have seen some of my little sneak peeks and uh, tweets and things like that. So definitely follow me on Twitter and obviously subscribe on the channel. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment below, are you guys interested in standing desks? Do you have one? If you do have one, do you even stand? Because I know that the first month or so, I realized that I didn't even use a standing feature. I had to like make a concerted effort to remember like, hey, you have a nice expensive desk that's supposed to make you stand, stand up and take advantage of that. So leave some comments below. Like, do you guys use your standing aspect of your standing desk and things like that? And if you don't have one, why would you want one? I'm curious, like why would you want to have a standing desk versus just a normal desk? But again, that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you made it to the end, you guys are legends. Until next time.